Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, yet again, to another beautiful review slash unboxing of a gorgeous Louis Vuitton presentation. So, as you can see, this is the new box style that Louis Vuitton is sending yo stuff in nowadays. It used to be, wait for it. The brown box, such as this, I hope the camera can see it. Phone. But the big brown box, this is what everyone's used to. And now they, they uh, depending on how you feel about it, downgraded or upgraded to the orange box. So here we go. Uh, I actually ordered this online uh, because the, the Louis Vuitton store that's close to me, I do not like the way they treat their customers, so I just do everything online. But that's just me. Maybe your experience may vary. Anyway, so this is the standard affair that you normally get. You get this cool little. Uh, introductory uh, card saying thank you for your stupid purchase you spent so much money let's give you some beautiful paper to go with it and a return voucher and your little receipt uh, always keep these things in case if uh, you know you want to I don't know resell them or whatever the case may be and then you know so people don't think you got like fake, fake stuff I may have to edit this out anyway and they gave me this cool little, uh, I don't know what the hell this is. Apparently if I'm going to be in New York, I could go to this cool affair. Some Louis Vuitton exclusive exhibition. So, I am not going to this because it is the second and I don't, I don't plan going, I don't plan on going to New York anytime soon. So, here we go. Here it is, the box right here. I actually got this in a cardboard box. I won't show that to you because it's just a pain in the butt to deal with all of it. So, here we go. Love you card. Oh yeah, the mini. Th I didn't put a message though, so I don't think there's anything in it to be honest with you. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I didn't write anything, but it's a cute little, uh, cute little envelope, with a little, cute little piece of paper, and a thing like this. So you know what you do? Take this if you have a girlfriend or something like that. Uh, give it to her, and then she'll be. Oh, you got me Louis Vuitton. No, I just got you a little no B. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now this uh, shoe, I, um, I've been trying to upgrade all my Louis Vuitton accessories to this new beautiful, what is it called, the uh, Eclipse? So, you know, black is the new black this year, homie. So we're going hard in the paint with this. So everything is going to be all black. Because everything usually with the, the LV logos and the stars is usually the brown color. Eh, I ain't with that brown no more. I'm trying to go all upgrade it to black. Let's see. Can you see this? Yes, you can. Very good. The good thing about Louis Vuitton is that they always have good quality boxes and you can use them as like little uh, storage bins too. It's very cool. And they come in these beautiful, wow, the dust bag is, it seems a little extra big. I don't remember, because sometimes I don't remember if Louis gives you one or two, but as you can see, they give you two. So that's beautiful. Extra laces, I'm sure. Yes, indeed. Always important. And this is your care guide. I'm sure you've seen this. It says how to take care of your stuff in a bajillion languages. And here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. This is the new and improved, updated. What is the name of this shoe? Matchup sneaker. There we go. Yeah, homie. And in a black eclipse color. Hopefully this is catching. Hope the lighting is bad. I can't see my phone. So hopefully you can see. Now this uh, looks like stitching, right? Looks like stitching, right? But it's not. It's actually just rubber all the way through. So this is what they look like all around right there. I like the little V thing right there. It's a nice little quality touch. As you can see, the stitching has a V. Pretty cool. All right, let's get the other one out. Now, as Per reviews that I like to do, I like to kind of compare what's going on. So let's just get rid of the box. Over here. Make sure the shoes look like they're in shot. Over here. They kind of look like they are. Beautiful. Okay, now, uh, 
uh, a year ago or so, I actually got this shoe when it came out in white. I was blown away because white, what? And it has like the Louis Vuitton thing. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. It's like before the Eclipse came out, I think. I'm not really sure, or at least the shoe in particular. But the color wise, this white, this white pattern came out and I was like in love with it because it's white and it's very subtle. You can barely see it. I mean, it probably shows up better on camera, but in real life, very subtle. You have, if you're far away, you can't really see it, but if you're up close, you can tell. And people who know, know. So that's good. However, now let's just do a quick review. This shoe right here, I did a review online already. You can go check it out. Probably, maybe a link here somewhere or at the end of the video, I'll, I'll figure it out. And uh, now look at this. See this shoe right here? There is nothing holding you. Oh, by the way, yeah, I switch out my uh, insoles because Sacconi makes the best. Let's <laughs> be honest here. All right. See how thin this is? There's nothing going on here. So when you wear this shoe, your foot slips out like there's nobody's, nobody's business. There we go. And also the quality, when I read the, the, the thing about this shoe, it said it's using this new fold over technique. Yeah, it sucks, cause look at this shit. It ripped and I wore it twice, twice. And this is what happened. And they, they wouldn't let me return it or fix it or anything because it was over two months since I got them. I only wore them uh, once, you know, because, dude, they're white, so I didn't want to mess them up or anything like that, and special occasions too, I kind of always use it for that. As you can see, now look, they changed their whole pattern. As you can see, it's just a, a you know, a cut thing and it goes over it. So it's, it's a very smarter design, and also, as you can see, it's fat right here. So when you take your step, your heel isn't just popping right out because it actually keeps it firmly and snugly inside the shoe. So that is an upgrade compared to these. This is the original like uh, style, motif, whatever you want to call it, silhouette. And this is the, the better upgraded version. They actually have a different one, I think, too. But this one is, is, is way better. Uh, so as you, like I said, this is the, the main reason why this shoe sucks is because your foot just comes out. You got to tie them tight as hell to actually keep them on your feet. But the design still looks kind of cool. And, the, and this part right here, the fold over, you can see I was like bulging out right there, is because this this uh, piece of uh, canvas or whatever you want to call it, is folded twice. So as, if you look under this right here, you see this same design underneath because it's, it's just folded over. It's over twice. It's I don't know why they did that. And this, since it's all fat and nasty right here, it just ends up ripping over time, as you can see. I've seen other people have rips. They were telling me when I was trying to return them that, oh, they don't, uh, that, that's, that's very rare, that doesn't happen, it shouldn't happen. Well, guess what? It did, and it didn't help me. And that's why I still hate the Louis Vuitton store that I bought these at. Anyway, Topanga, they suck. Um, so as you can see, there's a, a couple um, different uh, things going on with this particular shoe. The back right here is just straight leather as opposed to canvas. The front is straight leather as opposed to the canvas. So that is sort of an upgrade and I think the quality wise, it, it'll last longer. But as in terms of the shoe itself, I think they're basically the same. And another uh, upgrade, quote unquote, is this little V, at least detail wise. Very nice, I really like that. I don't know why, it just it gives it a, a different, different pizzazz. It almost looks like an M if you look at it a certain way. But it's, it's supposedly it's supposed to be a V. And this is like a very classic looking shoe, very subtle. I need a new pair of shoes because I'm replacing these bad boys right here. As you can see, they're pretty worn in. I've had these shoes for, I'm not quite sure, a very long time, years. But they were the dopest shoes. And the reason why I got these is because I take care of kids. And you know, when kids are you know running around, they step on your feet a lot. And I wanted a pair of shoes that actually, you know, kind of would last. And since this material is easy to clean, and this rubber right here, perfect. As you can see, they've still held up through the test of time. I'm assuming four or five years old these shoes are. And as you can see, the red in there, that's because they're Sacconi insoles. I love Sacconi insoles. You wanna see what these look like? They're very nice, very thick, and very good. The only thing is they're leather. And so when you wear them, I swear to you, you'll get calluses and your foot will be sliding all over the place because it's so thin. You gotta rough them up somehow. Someone told me a way to do it. I forgot what it was. I was trying to do it on another pair and it's working out okay, but it's not great. So usually you can either take them out. Oh, wow, all the way. Okay, no, no, it's just the, just the heel. Even on the inside, it's still leather. So your foot's still gonna so you need to replace, well you don't need to, but I will. These are the shoes together. Can you see, are they lovely? 
It looks really, really good. I just really like the black. As you can see, I'm upgrading everything to all black. Because like I said, black is the new black, homie. Black is the new black. So these are the matchups. I'll read real quick any details. If You, you can go on LouisVuitton.com to buy them. Um, I don't know of any other store that would sell them. Louis Vuitton is the only place that I know you can buy Louis Vuitton merchandise. That's real. So, yeah, retail price is $645, $645. They're not cheap, uh, but, you know, sometimes, I, okay, this is my thing. I don't like to wear shoes that someone else is wearing. So when I go out and I see someone wearing the same damn shoes, I get mad. So to make sure that doesn't really happen, I buy these because barely anyone has these. All right, monogram eclipse canvas is the outside. The the panels paneling is that what you call it? Paneling? I don't know. And I'm assuming this is all leather. Everything that doesn't have the the LV print on it is all leather and rubber 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 outsoles. Yeah, rubber outsoles. Even said it on the website. This trend on sneaker has a clean minimalist design, which is complementary complemented by Louis Vuitton's monogram eclipse canvas and a black rubber sole. And that's all it says, basically. So a very simple, very subtle. If you want yourself a pair of shoes that look cool and are subtle, understated, these are the ones, homie. And black. These are the ones. I don't really care for the bottom that much. Let me see how... I mean, these are white, so you can see all the dirt and stuff like that. But um, I feel like they're going to hold up rather well. Not great, but rather well. I mean, they're rubber, so they should last a while. White shoes I've only worn uh, maybe like six, seven times. These are going to be my new go-to shoes because they're black and hardcore with the paint. So hopefully this review will help you in your purchase in the future. So we'll see. Hopefully it does. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, oh wait, hold on, hold on, one more thing. Upgraded. I feel yes, the tongue, the tongue as well is actually padded and thick. This one, not so much. As you can see, it's just thin, just like the rest of the shoe. Just poor design, really poor design. This, this is they just totally. I don't say I'm not gonna say they knocked it out of the park, but they definitely made it a lot better on this version right here. So this matchup is the way to go. If they ever make a white version, um, I'm probably not going to get them because I already have a white parachute, even though the split is right there, but they still look good. Everyone always says, oh, that's nice. And hopefully they'll say the same thing for this. But I don't do it for the likes. I do it for myself, homie. And I hope you do it for yourself. Treat yourself. Get yourself a nice, good pair of Italian shoes. It doesn't have to be Louis Vuitton. It could be Gucci. Check out my other Gucci uh, shoe reviews. They're somewhere on the interwebs. I'll probably put a link or something like that. But yeah, check those out as well. Um, as per... what else? Oh, fit! Fit and finish, they're pretty true to size. I wear a 8.5 and, and these are 8.5 as well. I could have gotten an 8 uh, for Louis Vuitton size. Or otherwise, American is 9.5. Um, you go down a size, at least the number wise. But it fits true to size. Um, like I said, you could. I could have bought the 8 um, they fit like exactly 100% like perfect, but then you know if your foot swells, eh, it might have been too tight. So I got the eight and a half just in case, and that's usually my normal size. But I feel like these run pretty true to size for the most part. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that just in case. They go pretty true to size. Um, also, I think that's about it. This is I mean it's pretty basic, pretty black. So anyway. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it with your other uh, friends who are into cool shoes like this. Sneakerheads alike. And also subscribe because you may see some more things that you may like. I don't know. You'll find out, I guess, right? Tune into future episodes. So anyway, my name is Emilio. Enjoy the rest of your day, homie.